So we've replaced three machines for one spindle. It's automated, it's gantry loaded, it's got new technology. Floor space is absolutely fantastic and they're a great price. So for what you get compared to other uh, manufacturers out there in a minute, from what we've seen anyway. And yeah, they're a great looking machine. Green lights are on, they're running, they look cool. Why wouldn't you? So the team at DP Engineering, we've, we've taken the automation route. So we've invested heavily into Muratech lathes. Um, so we've looked at how we can take that role of uh, an operator having to stand at a machine, load a billet into machine. We've now looked at how can we automate that, make the job a lot more attractive, get that skill a lot different. Um, we can train a lot different as well. Um, and we can have less people running multiple spindles. So with the Muratechs that we've got in this section here, we've got six spindles currently run by two operators. So our output's a lot better, so we're, we've been able to increase our capacity to match our customer demands. We've really tried to build an automated cell that can really use as little people as possible. And we're really trying to tap into that um, super automated cell environment where hopefully you'll see the green lights are on and there's not many people here. So we've, we've used these Muratech lathes to take a traditional lathe and mill cell. So where we had uh, an operator would uh, single piece flow, uh, turn and then, and then mill the components. We've now used these machine complete uh, machines uh, to, to get a, com a component in one hit. So it's a lot more reliable, it's a lot more repeatable. The tolerances are, again, more achievable and we're able to increase our capacity. So we're, we're, we're currently running 65 70% available full capacity in the business and that's by bringing these machines in. So we've been able to tap into that unmanned capacity. Um, now I say unmanned, someone's had to set that up. It's not just press a green button. We've done all the, the critical dimension um, analysis. We've done to make sure the machines are capable. We've got all the tool studies. But when we leave it tonight, we're getting on average six to eight hours unmanned running. So we've got that three hours that we can now tap into.